Hold your ground. Look, you see that? What is this? The dragon? What, what, what was this? Did you guys see that? You don't want to miss it. Boom! Isengard! The dragon strike! The dragon strike is coming! Oh, he's gonna actually use... Oh my goodness! The lightning strike from the fortress. <laughs> Isengard was actually finding its redemption today by winning multiple games in a row against the Engma faction. I mean, Isengard had the worst win rate, but after today's performance, it can be changed. We have the red man of the West player, Mustafa, against the blue Eisenjahr player, Trakir at the bottom side. This is the beautiful map, Plains of Linden, which is like a reskin of the map West Mnet in Battle for Middle Earth 1. Bats, bats, bats. That's all I can see in the chat. And Dimek or Balindru or Vedenorion, can you guys be so friendly and open the bats for the gamblers in our channel? They really want to gamble desperately. Double Furnace into the Uruk Pit. On the other side, we see two farms into the Barracks. Coming up for the Man of the West player. That's an economical opening, actually. Two Furnaces, Uruk Pit and third, third Furnace coming up right after for Traki. And early on, you know, Man of the West, how can I say? I think it's going to be hard for Man of the West to deal the damage you are looking for. The only way you can kind of win those fights is by outspamming Isengard. Because in a one-on-one -on -one situation, Uruks, they would smash Soldiers of Gondor. They have no chance. Oh, bats were already open. Okay, in this case, you missed it. Pro slice. You have a pikeman start. It looks like Traki, the Isengard player, is trying or will be trying to creep the Strollia at the bottom right side. On this map, Plains of Linden, you have not many creeps. You have actually only four creeps. Two of them are Vorgs and two of them are Trolls. That's it. Pikeman start also for the Man of the West player. It looks like you want to actually lead to the Vork layer. So when it comes to creep a Vork layer versus a Troll layer, you will get obviously much more value from the Troll layer itself. Why? Not only you will get more money off that, but also you will get the chance to capture this inn. Now the Isengard inn units are busted. They are one of my most favorite units in the game, the Black Orcs. You know, I think the Black Orcs are very underrated. And I think they also should be implemented more into the Mordor gameplay. Because, you know, the Mordor is like more like a spammy faction. But you can change your playstyle by going for a little bit earlier Orc Pit level 2. Which doesn't only give you the chance to recruit the Black Orcs, but also gives you more production speed in a tankier Orc Pit. And they cost less than Uruks, but are almost as powerful as Uruks. And remember, the Black Orcs, just like the normal Orcs, they have the Bloodthirsty with level 2 which gives them 25% more damage. So basically, when they are level 2, they will hit like a truck. Black Orcs got nerfed, but only for the Mordor faction. And the only nerf they received, Benzi, was the price. So they increased the price from 250 to 300. That's all the nerf they received. They didn't receive any damage nerf. They are still very strong in terms of damage and tankiness. Just a bit more expensive, you know? We have now Soldiers of Gondor. And by the way, Black Orcs are so much stronger than Soldiers. So much stronger. We have Uruks and Black uh, Pikemen moving forward now. But it looks like the Man of the West player will be ready to, def to defend himself. It's a very early transition into the level 2 archer range for the Rangers. Very, very early. And the one Pikeman shouldn't be able to achieve too much. Isengard wasn't capturing this in yet. But he might do that later on. Their command points also reduced to 60. So exactly, you see? So basically, they actually kind of changed it a little bit. So it's now more expensive price-wise, but less expensive command point-wise. Gandalf versus Saru. I hope to see Gandalf in this game. I also hope to see Gandalf in this game, dude. I would love to see Gandalf against Saru Man too. Would be awesome. But the thing is, and that's what I was trying to say all, all the time, you know, when it comes to recruit Saru Man versus Gandalf, um. It's much easier for Isengard to recruit Saruman than it is actually, you know, for Man of the West to recruit Gandalf. Because Isengard has more money. Should have more money in most situations. Like one Devastation, even though Devastation got nerfed, will give you almost 50% uh, of the money you will need for recruiting Saruman only. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually get Saruman if you want to quite early into the, in, on the field. While Man of the West will struggle economically to be able to afford a more expensive hero than Saruman. So basically, yes, they lowered the price of Gandalf from 4,000 down to 3,500. And if you get the banner upgrade on the fortress, you know, the banners here on, on the fortress, it will give you like 10% more discount on the heroes 
so you can reduce the price in total to something of slightly more than 3000 but also the banner upgrade is not for free the farm is gonna be saved barely it was damaged a lot but not even close i guess now we will get the chance to see black orcs and black orcs here they cost only 250 so basically you can recruit them as isengard from an in unit cheaper then the Mordor can recruit them from their Orc Pit level 2. And you see all Black Orcs gain 25% damage when gathered in numbers of 100 or more. And this is spell which always stacks, even if they are bloodthirsty, which is another 25% more damage. And this is able to stack with Warchan, for example, or with the leadership of Lords. So long story short, you can make them really strong. creeping action going on a bit more slow game so far i mean could be a bit faster and i think the game volume volume is still a bit slow let me actually make it a I little bit dark Lord. more louder should be better now hopefully okay so i mean that means after the first couple of minutes into the game we have now no more creeps left on the map Every creep, trolling, this and that, everything has been taken down from the players. This way, my this way, my friends, together. And we have a stable coming up now for the Man of the West player to get all the chances to recruit every single unit that Man of the West faction has to offer. I need this over here. I need this over here. So the farm is also burning, um, but doesn't take damage all the time. Obviously, it's like a a damaged stage of the building big fight in the middle this one i mean not in the middle on the left side but this fight is looking actually great for isengard he's outnumbering his opponent big time even rangers even though they are strong they are not strong enough to withstand this the farm is going to be destroyed now from tracky and tracky might now actually get the chance to move uh for a big push now the question is can man of the west play defend this so he's like building a statue and statue got nerfed this patch by the way and the inn is under control from the Man of the West player. But again, the Galadrim warriors are kind of expensive, you know? They are not cheap. The reason why they are also cheaper than 400 is because of the statue. Because it doesn't give you only command points, fear resistance, and damage and armor. No, but it also reduces the cost of infantry by a certain amount. So if you get multiple of these statues on a pony field, you can actually reduce your infantry cost quite a bit. So statue is like an exclusive um, structure for the good factions like Man of the West, you know elves and or dwarves black orcs and they also get the chance to get forge plates heavy armor and banner once again bloodthirsty very efficient they are looking cool they are looking kind of dangerous to me there is no tournament um i mean that's like a leak and yes make sure of x is also participating in the upcoming 1300 dollar tournament but that's not a tournament what we are doing right now that's more like a preparation for the upcoming tournament by hosting like a leak with chatting system, basically the chance for the players to warm up their fingers and get ready for the big event. Extrovers and double clan sitting. Okay, that's something we have not seen a lot. And also against Man of the West, I don't know if this is going to be efficient or not. Like, they are weak against Gunner Knights, they are weak against Rangers, they are even weak against Soldiers. So, I don't know. They are good potentially for harassment, you know what I'm saying? But are they really good enough to win those fights? Can they add any value to the Isengard army when it comes to fight against the Man of the West army? Kribin is going to be on cooldown now for the next fight too. We have Gondor Knights up on the field. Gondor Knights, they should be able to win against War Riders if they have no whole ability. And they will ignore them completely and try to take down the Furnace instead. But, you know, you don't want to take too much damage when you are doing this. No, 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 no. Oh, he lost a full set of your unit, Battalion. Oh, man. The Black Orcs are getting trampled down, but they don't even take too much damage. Not even in the whole ground sense, by the way. Rangers are doing a good job. War Chan has been used. And, you know, I remember the moment when Wormtongue was saying, But my lord, there is no such force. And then Saruman going outside with Wormtongue and saying, Are you sure, brother? Are you sure about that? There is definitely a force like that. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. <laughs> Too dangerous. The White Man of Dunland. The true White Man of Dunland. They have the one ring, boys. I like the Edin mod about this subject, by the way. In Edin mod, guys, if you actually um, get the one rank with certain heroes like Gandalf, for example, it affects the hero who picks up the rank. Like, every faction has a unit. Like, Saruman, for example, when you play Isengard in Edin mod and you pick up the rank with Saruman, 
it will turn Saruman into a Saruman of many colors. It will change his full set of abilities and make him to a very different hero. Gandalf will get the chance to be Gandalf the Corrupted when he's picking up the ring as Gandalf the Grey, and when he's picking up the, gray, uh, the ring as Gandalf the White, he will become Gandalf the Challenge Master. So very unique style of implementing ring heroes, not only like making Sauron or Galadriel, no, it's not the case. It affects directly the guy who is picking up the ring. I like this about Edin Mott a lot. The farm here is going to be taken down. The only thing that I don't like about Edin Mott um, is because um, the only two things, to be honest, to be precise, is the first the installation thing. It's so tricky to actually get it installed. You have to do this, that, win CD, emu, amount, mini images, this and that, because it relies on the patch 2.01, which requires a CD to work. And the other thing is the upgrades are just the gameplay itself feels really slow, you know. Then you want to buy, for example, Forge Blades. The build speed, the build time from Forge Blades is like three minutes. Just sloppy, you know. But they have also added quite a lot of unique stuff. The farm here is going to be taken down. And we have now, the first hero is Lourdes. So the most cost efficient hero in the building. Very, very reliable hero, as you guys know. Every, you know, strong at every stage. There is not a single matchup in which Lords is going to be useless. He's absolutely madness in the fighting Urukai himself. Any more that's great, are we ever going to see at the tournament? Um, for me, uh, for me, a uh, tournament, I would have to spend so much time, actually, first of all, into installing the mod again. And I tried this a couple of weeks ago to actually re-download, reinstall the mods. It was so tricky, dude. It, like, I get random ass er errors, and I don't even know what causes them. Again, I don't get it why they actually based it on the patch 2.01. Which is so hard to make it run. And then again, you know, I don't have too much knowledge in the Eden mod. And don't even know enough players to host a tournament, I guess. Oh, Wildman of Dunland on top of the arch. Oh, but is he gonna use the arrow volley? No, it's a long shot. Nice long shot from Rangers. He kills so much. There is a long tower with Rangers inside. They are dealing so much damage. And he has also repair or rebuild from the spellbook of Man of the West. Uh, just in case he might need to use it to save the to save this uh, tower. But I think he doesn't even need to use it. Because the Rangers. I stand as the captain of Gondor. We hear Boromir joining the battlefield. I will just lower this a little bit more, guys. <laughs> the dead zone. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. What is he saying? He's saying lol. Big commitments, but Isengard. I mean, Isengard lost literally everything. We will keep the forests of Gondor safe. We will keep the forests of Gondor safe. We hear more and more rangers entering the battlefield from Mustafa. Lords is level two, and we might see a deja vu situation. Lords against Boromir, just like in the films. You know what I'm saying? There is a high chance. And 635 command points for men, and we have 700 command points for Isengard. It was a bad, bad commitment. The Wildman of Dunland special summon is a bad call when, when there are like any cavalry units nearby. Because they are so vulnerable against trample damage, right? You can trample them down and they get one shot every single time. And with that, Isengard lost a huge potential of getting Devastation instead. You know, look his money. He, had, he has around 1500, right? And with Devastation, trust me on that one, he would get the chance to get to 3000 and recruit the wizard of Isengard. The leader of Orphank. He has still lots of units on the field. We must go now. For the white city. We have, uh, see it. Man of the West doesn't have the eco, though. I mean, he is like also kind of down a little bit money wise. The Lone Tower is a strategy we have seen a lot in the previous versions too. But after the tower nerves, I mean, towers got nerfed a couple of times now in the, in the Rise of the Witch King, which totally makes sense. Marshal of the I'm Elma, third marshal of the Riddermark. Which totally makes sense, by the way. Nerfing towers, they are lame and annoying, and so making them a bit more easy to destroy it is always a great change. And that's why I believe we don't see this very often anymore. But it's not bad either, you know, because you can use them on choke points to get like a more defensive control of the targeted area. Oh, that's a huge Isengard. Dude, guys, can you imagine an arrow wally in there? Holy moly. Mustafa needs a market to win. Yeah, market would be great. Definitely. I would always say market is nice when you have more than 550 command points. Something like this, you know? 
earlier than that it's kind of you don't get enough value of investing this much money elma and his horses are trying to destroy the level two furnace they should be able to six power points collected for the man of the s is 685 command points available but he's losing a lot of gondonites elma is getting now level two as spear throw he needs to be level four for the outlaw leadership but he lost a full battalion no he actually didn't lose anyone and he will be recovering with them anyway now isengard is going for a big push uh, Longshot is incoming from ranges isengard is paying attention he will be dodging the damage especially uh, with most of the units we have extroverts on the field the valkman extroverts are supposed to be countering the enemy archers but they are more or closer ranged and we have nine power points collected now so now is the question we have a horn of gondor doesn't even stun the backline of the Waldman Extrovers. I think he was far away. Like, where is Boromir? More, okay, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Horn of Gondor is on cooldown. Boromir is using hold ground stand. That doesn't actually make him attack. Carnage is on cooldown. Lurz is almost level 5. Boromir has to fight this. Why don't you fight? Aggressive stance now. Lurz is running for his life. The Vel has been taken down. 15 power points collected. Boromir is screaming for Gondor. And trying to chase Lurz. But Lurz is a fighting Uruke. He's not resting. He's not running from from a, i mean he actually runs from a fight now but he's strong he's gonna cripple now boom sit down sir but can you kill him do you have what it Magonda! takes to kill him? Oh. Magonda! 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 blowing up my eardrums boromir shut up level five is needed uh for the leadership to be unlocked Remember, every hero, every building which offers your leadership in rise of the witch king is the same amount of damage armor and combat experience it's the same amount we must not delay, we must not delay. so elma is almost level four which would means money you know you get money 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 but i believe after the 15 he might go for the for the field of fires it also would mean money 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 for isengard he's already preparing for it he has the one rank <laughs> i would love to see sauron guys i'm telling you but he's not as strong as he is in battle for middle of two now he's already preparing by building up multiple lamermills because he definitely want to go for the field of fires which you know means you have the chance to get too much money to get all the upgrades you need like heavy armor forge plates to make your army much more draw you know increase the durability and the strength of your armor army a lot you asked for it yeah true my bad <laughs> my bad white man of the Island summon is going to be also eventually available for the next big fight oh long shot is incoming but oh uh, track is paying attention feel the fires ladies and gentlemen it's unlocked 70 percent more money now from the harvesting of trees and you can see those things are now on fire shining bright like a diamond and the money is gonna go now Brr, guys the eco is going nuts 825 command points for isengard all he has to do is keep those structures protected for a little bit so he can get the full value of these buildings in long terms so they have also the grand harvest from the man of the West player you can see them glowing also the farms so now that would mean that we're eventually going to see a full league game potential of this clash between good and evil men against Isengard. And I'm looking forward for that. I personally like the clashes a lot. But, uh, sorry. But I really hope that we're going to see also imp important and impactful heroes other than only Elma and Boromir. Remember, uh, Saruman is a double effective hero in this kind of situations. Because Saruman, when you are level 5 with Saruman, you get automatically fear resistant for the nearby allied units. That would shut down the Horn of Gondor effect from Boromir completely. And holy moly, these tower guards in the HD edition, they are looking badass. Oh, they are looking really badass, boys. Okay, so, I mean, so far, I don't know, man, anything can happen. Like, one single fight, trust me, guys, one single fight can literally change everything. Sauron versus Gandalf level 10, Sauron would smoke him. <laughs> like, Sauron is, there is, how can Gandalf kill Sauron, you know what I'm saying? You can't. The thing is, I believe in a 25 power point battle, this army will get crushed <laughs> from Army of the Dead. But Isengard has also really powerful summons. The, the Dragon Summon is so effective. Look at the layout from the Men of the West. Do you see that? Guys, can you imagine for a single second, if you put the dragon here and you target the well, you will be able to kill the statue, the farm, the barracks, and the archery range. But big, uh, hey, hold on a second. Big fight. Elma got crippled down. The long shot. The horn of the no cloud break. Boom. Actually, they are not even dying. Hold ground stands very smart. They have leadership too. Remember, you can make them tank here by using war chants, leadership, and hold ground stands. Elma is still crippled down. We will have a Viper of Thailand summon now on top of the ranges behind. The Gondor Knights are going for a big commitment. There are no pikemen inside. And that's the second stun, ladies and gentlemen, with the Horn of Gondor. But they are not getting stunned. For whatever reason, they don't get stunned. 
in trample is incoming but the ranges are almost gone already i think this fight is this fight is going to be won now by the isengard player boromir has to be careful he's level four but he's slower than lords he's slower than the isengard army boromir does he have heal from the spell book no but he has the power points if he wants to so man of the west player can now skip the five skip the ten and go for the 25 but it's a huge l huge loss for man of the west elma at least don't lose elma he needs to run for his life and what a one-sided and amazing battle for isengard it was dude man of the west fully committing on this fight by the way he was using 15 power point that's cloud break and that's a that, that, you know huge cooldown he lost border me he lost his rangers he lost everything to only the Vikman of Dan and summon that's a great fight in my book and lords obviously giving you so much value in the second boys he turns level eight pillage means even more money for the isengard faction pillage he didn't even go for the devastation but he doesn't need to he has now the field of fires which is a perma devastation every couple of seconds and you get so much value he was having the uh, heavy armor purchase the forge blades purchase that's why they don't they didn't die because they have the heavy armor they are so tanky they are so tanky they, they don't even die to the trample anymore from the scandinites guys do they have also heavy armor no do you need maybe also upgrades at this point because look at that normally when you trample them down you would kill them but now you get killed yourself elma level six what are you doing elma lords is here drawing his sword and saying do not come between the uruk and his prey looks like he's gonna actually get away now from the rangers and elma is gonna be in a safe spot once again okay 17 power points for isengard boys he's only eight power points away from his 25 this is the game of the series definitely and tri needs to get the w to reach the final game the game number seven the lone tower special summon will be taken down look at this white man x throwers with their heavy armor and forge plates repair has been used rebuild has been used to keep this tower protected for now ranges inside and tower guards outside are able to handle the situation and he's saying you are too lame i mean why why is he too lame it's a special summon from his spell book he, he didn't even build a single tower besides summoning them you know rebuild tower really <laughs> like tracky is tilted guys you can feel it you can feel it he is tilted no transition into the mighty heroes yet we have also not seen saruman all game long but Lord is, is almost level eight nor is he early he arrives precisely when he means he arrives precisely when he means so but when is it gonna be the case dude imagine gandalf with horn of gondor stun and you go inside the jeans and boom now big push dude this they have double buff they have heavy armor forge plates they are crushing everything on their way and they don't even take damage look how much damage they took from a long shot from multiple long shots sorry actually it was only one long shot and elma got crippled down i don't know how many times but this is the time in which he's gonna die lord is like enough if you horse lord I will smoke you now. And pillage gives you 112. So call someone call the police, guys. 112. And 17 power points collected for the man of the west. He needs eight more for his own 25. Earthquake or the army of the dead is gonna be his choice. But if you don't end this enough, you know, fast enough against Isengard, with this much eco, he might even be able to save up for Sauron. Because he's the one that controls the one rank. Level almost nine lords oh my goodness level three ferns are shooting heavy armor purchased dude you are killing those condonites like in one second is it worth to die for a level one lumber mill to lose so much and feed more and more power points to isengard the furnace level two in the front is going to be taken down this is hitting level two getting a hp boost and every single gondonite from mustafa is going down trying to destroy the mill and they cannot even succeed dude why not Vacha? Hey, because the field of fires is great. And why would you go for the Vacha when you can go for the 25 instead? And 25 is now available, guys. The big, the best 25 in the business, in the building. And that's going to be a perfect proof. The summon dragon on top of the army to disable them because you can reposition multiple times, right? You need to now go to the spot. I want to demonstrate you with the help of Traki, who is not even trying to use his dragon properly. Look, he's even, like, dealing crazy amount of damage to Boromir too. You got the reposition now, you are wasting your time. And there comes the dragon, boys. You need to have vision, that's why Kribin was moved to the spot. The thing is, now, if he hits the... If he aims, for example, this building... ...when it comes to defend against a dragon like that. 
because he's wasting so much time though he's wasting so much time but look at this he positions himself nicely and you see this like from this location he's able to hit archer range which is here that's why it's so crazily effective now if he can position himself here he can kill this easily even almost reach this one by the way I mean, but he has not much time left anymore. And that's a devastating amount of damage now dealt to the production buildings of the Man of the West player, Mustafa. 700 command points in the bank. Mustafa has 22 power points collected after the Cloud Break. Lone Tower summon is available once again, but he still needs 3 power points for his own 25. And the question is, even if he gets it done, can it be as devastating as the 25th summon dragon from Isengard? That's a question, and we might hopefully be able to see the answer very soon. Lords, the fighting Urukai, turning his carnage. Getting angry, getting mad. Cloud Break was used to stun them, but the stun doesn't last long enough to keep this fully upgraded Vikeman Extroverse busy. Trampling down multiple times. Does he have actually heavy armor on them? No, he doesn't have heavy armor on them. I'm actually wondering why he was actually going for the Blacksmith in the first place. But he lost the Blacksmith, remember? He lost his Archer range, he lost his barracks, he lost everything. I mean, he has Archer range, that's it. He just revealed it. And Gondonites? Even though they are supposed to be a counter to the Vitamin X rovers, but they can't. Elma got crippled down once again. The one Lone Tower Simon with ranges inside with fire arrows are hitting like a truck. But can they be enough to defend against this many Vitamin? The auto leadership is coming in clutch. Lourdes is running for his life. It looks like Trucky will give up on this area. And ladies and gentlemen, we have 26 power points now collected. Hey, Invictus, welcome. Nice to see you in the chat. Okay. So what is he gonna be go for? Isengard was already collecting 13 power points after the Summon Dragon. Can you imagine? That's a huge force of Isengard. And go for it. Army of the Dead. I summon you to fulfill your oath. Do it. Do it. Do it. And the power points shall go. Brrr. You see that? The power points are skyrocketing. This guy. That's why the Army of the Dead is not a bad thing. It's not the best summon either. But when you summon it and you get the chance to kill a full army, you will get so many power points collected during all this time. Seven power points collected. The full army of Isengard got shut down. But Isengard, dude, doesn't care. He has fueled the fires. He has so much money. He has enough power points even to go for a devastation. He's saying give up. Traki is trying to convince his opening Mustafa to surrender because he is kind of tilted or maybe exhausted from trying to go through the defense of the Man of the West. Only the dragon was able to deal the damage he's looking for. But we have a big commitment. We have double clan setting, warp pit level 3, Uruk pit level 1, Armory level 3, Furnace is level 3, everything is able to shoot. And once again, keep in mind that he has also the one ring. So at some point, if he wants to, he can try to save up for Sauron. And trust me, with this much eco and resource income, he can do that. If have me back on the menu, boys. Aragorn, ladies and gentlemen, is here. Look at this, guys. King Elisar. He's like, let them come. Look at the design, though, in the HD edition. Looks pretty decent to me, right? For a game that is so old. Looks pretty decent. But what can Aragorn do? You know, what can Aragorn do at this point? And that's what I'm trying to see. The heroes are, you know, most of the heroes are too expensive. And by the time they join the battlefield, there is going to be a cheaper hero from the opening player that shuts down your hero completely. In this case, I'm referring and talking about Lourdes. So Lourdes has the chance to cripple down Aragorn. He can't play the game. He needs at least to be level 2 for the Blade Master. 400% more damage and armor. And he's saying, do it. <laughs> Look, the Boromir Horn of Conda, guys. He's so underrated. Stop this game. Traki is getting tilted. You are not cool. <laughs> Dude, the Flame Wars is what it makes it entertaining. Lourdes is saying, you shall not pass. Level almost 10, Lords. 15 power points collected. And the answer to your question, why didn't he go for the Watcher? I believe this is going to be answered very soon. Boromir, just like in the films, cannot move. Use Atelas, maybe. Atelas him. He's going to dodge the incoming. What is he doing? He actually kind of escaped. Was pressing X, but there was not even a long shot coming. Rallying call has been used. Remember, Boromir also offers you leadership. Uh, Aragorn also offers you leadership, but he needs to be level 4 for that. Hit him on the field, no upgrades yet. He actually goes for the industry to even get a greater amount of money from the furnace here. In where is he using it? Am I blind? Here, that's the furnace he's using it on. Oh, look, that's what I'm talking about. What can Aragorn do at this stage of the game? You need to have him at least level 8 or 10 to be able to make a great use of him. Too much DPS, too much leadership, too much, you know. A leadership, Warchant, um, and also Forge Blades. They are hitting like a truck. 
Lords is fine, trust me. There is not enough units or enough DPS for the Man of the West player to kill Lords. But the only mistake Traki keeps making all the time is actually kind of underestimating the trample, the counter system of those extrovers being weak against trample. So maybe you should be recruiting one or two more pikemen. Isengard is expanding, building even wall hubs, keeps building more and more stuff. Level 2 furnace on the left side. On the left side. Pikemen just camping because they can in front of the level 3 farm. The farm is going to be now taken down by the Uruk Pikemen. They are so tank tanky. They are dealing crazy amount of damage. Repair is going to be used to save the farm for now. And Isengard is in the meantime once again building an army worthy of more than this time. My friends, this army is including lots of pikemen. This should be enough to keep the Gondonite slash Rohirrim away. He's gonna use the Palantir to make them even faster. So Isengard is making a move, marching to Helm's Deep. And where was Rohan when Gondor fell on the map Plains of Linden? Because I think Rohan is gonna fall, fall tonight. 10 power points collected, Army of the Dead is on cooldown. Only this Army of the Dead is able to fight such a force, guys. You need either lots of Rangers, lots of DPS, Rohirrim with Glorious Charge can do the magic trick too. Boromir is back on the menu too. But maybe instead of Aragorn, Gandalf could have been a better choice. If you already invest so much money into a hero like Aragorn, maybe you can also try to save up for, you know, Gandalf. Use it with the Cloud Break, Wombo Combo Potential, with the Horn of Gondor, Wombo Combo Potential. You can maybe get some great and juicy Visa Blasts of... Visa Blasts... Visa Blasts of... Can't even talk. And get some levels on him, you know? But not today. It is not today. It is not this day, as Aragorn would like to see. Big Rohirrim army, Gondonites. But he's... He has pikemen, be careful, cripple, cripple him. Where is Lourdes at? Lourdes is actually at the bottom right side. He has now two armies, capturing also this in at the bottom right side, which will give him the chance to recruit some black orcs. This is a respectable army. Imagine him grouping up with every single unit he has on the field. Imagine that. But this army has the strength to fight, actually take down the fortress too, guys. You know, when you ever get the chance, oh, he's committing. He wanna do it. He wanna risk the biscuit. You want to take down the fortress. He's going to use the Cloud Break to stun the pikemen. But I don't think you have the damage output. He has armor thing on this fortress, right? And that's a very desperate move from Mustafa. <laughs> He's dealing with great damage too, but the stun won't last forever. And there comes Lourdes. That means Elma will get crippled down. Boom. Elma cannot move anymore. Not only he will not be able to take down the fortress, but he was kind of blowing up his 15 power point Cloud Break and also losing his hero Elma. Now, oh, Elma is screaming, and Isengard is just fine, just fine, just fine. Lone Tower Summon is available for the next fight, but there is just too much DPS. Horn of Gondor has been, or will be used now, do -do 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 -do, to stun them. Rangers were losing in a one-on-one -on -one situation against Pikemen, because Pikes, they have heavy armor, and they are busted, they are strong, they are tanky. Lone Tower into the Rangers inside. 14 power points collected. The thing is, if, what can the Rangers do now? Watch the tower, guys, falling in like two seconds. Uh, thank you so much, Micro. Appreciate that. Hope you can enjoy your stream. Thanks for the follow. And yeah, the tower is going to be taken down. Rebuild is not even available. Isengard is now making a move. This might be, ladies and gentlemen, the final move. He has 15 power points in the bank. Army is rotating from the top side, from the bottom side, and from the middle. This is looking dangerous. He has now the power to commit. He's going to summon now. Thank you so much for the follow. Now appreciate that. The Hobbits from the Shire. Only Frodo Baggins can save the Man of the West. <laughs> Big commitment against the Fortress. Is this gonna do the trick? Is this gonna be enough to watch out for the kids? And Frodo Baggins' friends from the Shire are getting slapped. And looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. The Watcher is looking hungry. The enemy has, yeah, the enemy is crashing. We know that. Lords is saying, let's end this once and for all. And we have a hero coming from the fortress. And the hero who can save the day is Aragorn. He's using his blade master and boom! Aragorn is like, there is always hope. Taking down and Gandalf. Hey, guys, I know Gandalf is saying, Avisad is never late, but trust me, this time he is. <laughs> this time he is. Gandalf was lying this time. Gandalf a little bit too late. He has re rebuild almost available. He can actually save the fortress. Maybe? Maybe? Re yeah, rebuild is going to be used and the fortress is just fine. Just fine. Just fine. And who is coming also? Elma. Dude, the entire fellowship is coming out now. What is going on? And level 2. 
I mean, yes, now <laughs> the lightning sword. <laughs> Crazy game, dude. <laughs> 12 power points collected and 11 power, but the summon dragon is gonna be available soon. Oh boy. The summon dragon, once again, a perfect layout. You summon him here, killed everything. You know what I'm saying? Long story short. And Eisenhardt's eco, look the money. Like, you don't even need Sauron Sar at this point. Just go for the big boy. That's Sauron. Because once again, boys, he has the one rank. He has the opportunity and the chance, once he has 10,000 in the bank, to make this and get the ring hero. And I don't know, man. I, I want to see that, guys. Really, I want to see the ring hero from Truckee. I want to see Sauron fighting against Gandalf and Aragorn next to each other. That would be kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, he should be just not summoning the dragon. Just use the Palantir or the Creepane to get the vision and summon the dragon right here. You got to actually take down his buildings. Because now, because Man of the West is recovering, guys. Now he's building up the blacksmith, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah. I mean, there are no hard items, by the way, in this game, Palanx. But I guess you want to see more the next game. I get you. Imagine Man of the West turning this game around, boys. Level 5 leadership unlocked. We have now three really efficient and strong heroes. Two of the best heroes of Man of the West, Aragorn and Gandalf, next to each other. But Gandalf is kind of meh in a situation like that. He's only level 2. He needs some more levels. And remember, there is going to be an anti-hero like Lourdes, who is going to be able to cripple him down every single time. Isengard doesn't want to save up for Sauron. He actually makes lots of units, army, with the full upgrades. And the Summon Dragon will be used once again behind the beast. There we go. He was using Palantir to get the vision in order to summon things, most of the things. At least you need to have vision in the game. But the Summon Dragon should give him the signal that army after that should be also available very, very soon. Lord is back on the menu too. And ideally, you want to play around the army after that because you don't want to wait now too much. And when you wait like a minute now at this point, army of the dead is going to be back up. And then you can just summon the army of the dead and kill everything once again. 17 power points collected. Visa Plus, beautiful Visa Plus. Almost level 4 Gandalf. Horn of Gondor, Visa Plus combination. That's what I'm talking about. And where is Lords at? Lords has to be coming to cripple. The dragon is doing his thing. Boom. He actually hits only the blacksmith level 2. And again, the, the nerf to the dragon is that it's, he's not able to one-shot them anymore. He needs like two shots. I mean, he's still the best summon in the game, don't get me wrong. But still weaker than he was in the 8.4. Long, you know, long shots are incoming. We have lots of ranges on the field, also from the summon. Army after that is reloading. If, and Man out West, trust me, guys. If he can defend this, next attack is going to be huge for Mustafa and the Man of the West faction. Because next time, he will have his own army after that, which will give him a huge advantage to go for a massive counter push. The dragon? What, what, what was this? Did you guys see that? Holy moly. Did you guys see that? <laughs> it was crazy. What is going on? Some weird stuff is happening. Level 5 Boromir. Nine power points collected. Cloudbreak is almost back up. Once again, Cloudbreak, Visa Plus. Horn of Condor, Visa Plus. You have many, many Wombo combo potential. And this Gandalf now is finally able to get mounted on his Shadow Fax. And he's still grey, so he needs to be level 5 for the white. And level 5 is also giving you automatically fear resistant, which again, in this matchup, doesn't really matter anything. And I'm very surprised that... Isengard went never for any other hero but Lords. He didn't recruit Sharko one single time. He didn't recruit Wormtongue one single time. And especially not Saruman one single time. And he needs to expect now the army after that. Am I right or not? He needs to expect it. What is Elma doing? Don't suicide. Look at the DPS of those and deck. He cannot move. But now he knows Cripple is on cooldown. Use Cloud Break. Use Cloud Break. He's gonna use Cloud Break. Doesn't want to use Cloud Break. Elma has been taken down. And he could have used Cloud Break now. Now, Gandalf, go, 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 go. Where are you, Gandalf? He's so slow. Where is he? Am I blind? I don't see him. Gandalf, go, go, go. Do it. Do it. Do it. I believe in you, Gandalf. Do it. Boom. And Gandalf the Grey is turning into the Gandalf the White. Now, Lord is mad. He is using Carnage. He's like, okay, Aragorn is also level 5. Lightning Sword will be used. Remember the buff to Gandalf? He has now access to Easter Light when he's level 6. Lightning Sword and the Isengard army without the need of the army of the dead will be crushed and Lords is being chased down by the Rohirrim. Gondor goes for it and Rohan will enter. Boom. Lords level 10. Trying to make it into the... Yeah, he's gonna make it to the top. 
<laughs> he's inside the tower. Aragon is angry using Anduril and his Bleed Master ability. Batman of Talent Summon, and trust me, Tracky guys, trust me on that one. He's molding right now. He's molding. Hobbit Summon from the Shire. The tower has been taken, and it means there is no safe place for Lurz anymore. And you see the corpse of his body on the ground. And Batman of Talent, they will be smashed by the Hobbits yes, from the Shire. And Gand, oh, there is another army from Isengard moving now from the other side. This guy, this army has actually Grima Warm Tongue <laughs> included. But again, in the worst case scenario, I don't think he needs that. But he can just summon the army of the Reds to kill this army anyway. But I think he needed, he needs to now make a great use of the army of the Dead. You can summon Tom Bombadil here to deal with that, and I think that's gonna be the case. Do -do 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 -do. Tom Bombadil, Bombadilo, go for it, Sonic Song, damn, boom, Sonic Song, on your face, son. And Gandalf is still on foot, with his Frodo, with his Hobbit gang, you know what I'm saying? Look how cute this is looking like, Aragorn and Gandalf, and then you see Frodo Baggins, Samwise Gamgee, Pedigree and Took, Merida Brandybuck, all the gang. Rallying uh, code has been used on the army, Isengard, the dragon strike, the dragon strike is coming in clutch, burning the army, why, why, why would you use it this way, Aragorn is safe, Gandalf is safe, and losing a couple of tower guards against a 25 power point is not a big deal, and you can see that Traki is losing his patience, losing it, he is losing his mind, freaking out, and Gandalf, dude, I'm telling you, Gandalf might actually get level 10 in this game. He's almost level 7, boys. The marketplace is going down. The Isengard army, quality goes over quantity, looks small, but size doesn't matter everything. That's what she said. Big commitment, Rohirrim archers. 13 power points collected. Elma, I believe, is going to join the battlefield. No, it's Boromir. Can use the stun once again, no problemo. Gandalf is doing his magical weapon kind of tricks. Using lightning sword here and there. Zap Blast is available. Easter Light is available, which also can stun. It works like a like a like golden arrow, pretty much, you know? Like a small stun. So basically, long story short, with the uh, Easter Light, you can stun them. With the Cloud Break, you can stun them. And guess what? With the Horn of Gondor, you can stun them as well. That's why imagine Saruman. Imagine Saruman being level 1 now. He's on the field, finally. Truck is like, okay, let me get Saruman on the field. Thank you so much for the follow, Tommy. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Gandalf got crippled. Press you. You for the shield bubble. You for the shield bubble. Army of the Dead is saying, Gandalf, you ain't dying tonight. And crushing everything. Remember, no Saruman. And boom, son. Saruman is gone. And we now officially know who the real wizard is of Middle Earth. 20 power points collected. Army of the Dead. He was waiting patiently to use it. And he uses it in the perfect moment to save his Mifrandia, the White Rider. Isengard is going to be still able to get away. Isengard, don't get me wrong, is still not out of the game, guys. He is still very solid, strong. He has also the lightning strike from his fortress now. He had so much money, and I'm actually wondering why he never tried to save up for Sauron. That has to be a specific reason. You could have gone for it. It's allowed. Ring heroes are in. That's why we don't disable the ring heroes in the tournament anyway. Gandalf is doing his thing. 22 power points, 25. He's going to unlock the earthquake. Going for it, Gandalf. Do 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 do. Watch out on the heroes. Gandalf is getting knocked down. Doesn't deal damage to Gandalf. Even Lord is making a flip flop, learning new dance moves for the next dance competition of Rise of the Witch King, guys. The World Championship for a dance competition. Oh, the, <laughs> the Gandalf is actually getting knocked into the army of Isengard. Can he die? I mean, he has the. Sh I think he has the bubble still, right? Aragorn is popping off, but Aragorn is not going to pop off any longer. Aragorn is going to use, actually, the blade. Um, look, Lords, guys. That's what I'm telling you. When I'm saying it's the most cost efficient hero in the game, you don't believe me. He is fighting against Aragorn, who is supposed to be one of the strongest 1v1 heroes in the game. And you get 300 for killing him. Cripple, cripple, yes. And also, this guy is going to go down. I'm telling you, guys. Lord is the... Wind condition of Isengard. He's gonna use the lightning sword against Grima Wormtongue. Grima Wormtongue is tanking it like a boss, by the way. Holy moly, fully charged lightning sword on Grima's face and level 4 and doesn't even kill him. Are you even trying, Wizard? <laughs> you don't even try. But he's gonna die now. Die. Level 8 unlocked. Easter Light is available very, very soon. And Gandalf is still alive. He's not even trying to kill Gandalf because of Rohirrim summon, you know? Rohirrim are here to save 
Gondor, just like in the films. Devastation is gonna be used. Isengard is molding. He can't get the job done. 5,000 in the bank. Easter Light will be used from Gandalf. And he's getting one step closer to the level 10 power spike to wipe out the entire army of the Isengard forces. And we need now Saruman back. We need Lords back. We need Aragorn back. You know, we have like lots of stuff to see. And, you know, the Rohirrim summon obviously gonna slow down the 25 a little bit, but it's fine. He's still only 7 power points away, so he's gonna get there. He's gonna be able to summon the Earthquake. Use the Earthquake, rather. And look at the layout, dude. Guys, imagine Earthquake right here. You kill double clan setting, double Uruk pit, furnace level 3, war pit level 3, war sentry. I mean, even if you can't kill this building because it's a tanky one, you can still deal crazy amount of damage. And Gandalf is still remaining on the field. Cloudbreak is available, do it. Go for it. I want to see that. Dude, that's a perfect opportunity. What are you waiting for? Gandalf, stun and go ham now. It's your moment. If you have one chance, one opportunity, will you use it? And here we go, son. Boom on your face. And almost level 9. And guess what? The second the stun is over, Boromir can keep stunning, and there comes another stun. Actually, that doesn't work like this. What? Did, did you guys see that? He couldn't stun them with the one of God for whatever reason. He couldn't. Gandalf has to be careful, though. He's kind of lowish. 23, 24 power points in the bank. Like, really close for the earthquake. Gandalf is still not level 9 yet. He needs, like, one full level and a quarter. Hobbit summon from the Shire for, like, the sixth time. What a long game. That's the longest game so far. Definitely in the Champions League, and I like that. 25 power points collected. Isengard should be able to win this fight. Don't risk the biscuit, get away, so stay up a little bit with Gandalf, because Elma is back, and also we are waiting Aragorn. So I don't want to miss the Earthquake, guys. You don't want to miss it. Boom! Earthquake! Dude, what is this devastation, man? What is this? That's why you don't want to line up like that, you know, in late game. That hurts, by the way. This is pretty, pretty awful for Isengard. Like, that means no more extroverts, no more Wildman of Thunder, no more War Riders anytime soon. He has only one singular Uruk Pit, and this, if nothing else, is gonna buy so much time for the Man of the West faction player. Aragorn, King LSI is back, and guess what? He's also almost level 8. Now, hear me out and call me crazy if you want to, but in this game, boys, we have the chance to not only see the War of Power from Gandalf, but also the Army of the Dead Summon, which is, by the way, something in all these years I've been streaming Battle for Middle Earth to the Rise of Twitch, and I've not seen Aragorn getting one single time yet level 10 and this might be the day you know this day we summon army after that boromir aragorn and gandalf we are only missing gimli and legolas and then the gang would be complete and what a turnaround no traki was saying hey man give up it's over you cannot win mustafa didn't say a word all traki did was pushing the willpower of king mustafa to a level of over 9,000. You don't want to make your enemy tilt. You don't want to make your enemy try hard. Because that's what might happen. Multiple summons, boys. Now we have reached a stage of the game in which every single PowerPoint you won't be even, that, that won't even fit in the screen anymore, by the way, will be unlocked. The Dragon Summon is almost available. Isengard, all of a sudden, is not that rich anymore. You know, he has a huge army around this side. Tom Bombadil will be a special summon to mess them up. We have Grima Wormtongue back on the field. Maybe the win condition is this dude. Because when he's level 10, level 8, sorry, he will get the chance to steal the enemy hero. Imagine if Gandalf reaches level 10 and in the same moment, Wormtongue is able to steal it. I mean, that sounds like <laughs> unlikely, but it might happen, you know what I'm saying? And you steal Gandalf level 10 with your Wormtongue level 8, then you use War of Power for the friendly fire. And there we go, stun, boom, bombo, combo, solo, polo, there we go. Aragorn, level 8, popping off. By the way, the men of the West heroes are unstoppable. They are crushing everything. There comes Grima Wormtongue with his knives in his hands. And the summoned dragon will be summoned to knock down Gandalf to the next map. He is angry. He want to actually taste a wizard tonight. Looks like wizard is back on the menu, boys. Can he burn him fast enough? He actually deals crazy amount of damage. Use Easter Light against him. This guy is actually quite beefy. Oh my. That's the only way you can do... In the meantime, we have a warm tongue against Aragorn fight, by the way. Gandalf is safe, right? Gandalf is safe. He used the heal. 
The shield bubble, he's gonna get out mounted and he's like, I'm out, I'm out. See you next time. He's out, like, you know what I'm saying? He's out. -y. There we go. Warm Tong was using the escape ability, which gives him the perma staff for like a short to reach, not permanent, obviously. And Gandalf is gonna be able to get away. The dragon is gonna be repositioned now to this location, but he was wasting so much time with the dragon. He has only a few seconds left in Middle Earth, and I don't think he will be able to deal a lot of damage. How to, tr how to throw a game 101. <laughs> the farm level 3 is gonna get fired and the game starts lagging. So I wouldn't be so too surprised when we see a disconnecting screen coming up very, too very soon. You enjoy this theme the type of game? I mean, seriously, I do enjoy it. <laughs> I do enjoy it for my part. The stable, the barracks, and the dragon is no more. He's gonna reposition himself once again. Where is the reposition? What? Where is it going? What? He could have finished this. Where did he go? The dragon. Or oh, the dragon is going to be, you know, once again, defensively, he's wasting so much time, you know, repositioning. He didn't kill either of these structures for whatever reason. 20 power points in the bank. 650. Money is still no problem. I don't know why. Tracky. He had, trust me, guys. Damn it. Trust me. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not joking around here. He had the money and he had the time to save up for Sauron. Trust me. And with Sauron, the ring hero, this game look actually could be even Fiesta games from time to time. And I'm happy that we see this, you know, like a great comeback situation. Ten lords, but I think, you know, Saruman could have also have like a crazy amount of impact. Imagine level 10 Saruman, you know what I'm saying? You have Warm Tongue, you can steal the enemy units. You know, with Saruman, you can steal enemy units. With Warmton, you can steal enemy heroes. You have Thunderbolt, you have Wizard you have Fireball, you know, you have Fear Resistant, which can shut down the, you know, Horn of Gondor in the Cloud Break, which was the only Bombo combo potential why this Gandalf is popping off. It's because of that. Thunder, oh, he's gonna actually use, oh my goodness, the Lightning Strike from the Fortress. <laughs> he's gonna Shield Bubble and he's like, do you guys remember? Do you guys remember the moment when in the films in the extended edition in which Saruman was using Fireball against uh, Gandalf and Gandalf was just using the bubble, you know what I'm saying? Saruman, your staff is broken. It was a badass moment too. Look, the power points are not even fitting in the screen anymore. We have like a second line of power points. That's how the late game is working in Rise of the Witch King. So Warm Tongue is, is level 4. He's in a safe spot, but the siege has begun. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now it becomes more threatening, boys. Do you guys read what he's typing? Uh oh, Gandalf, I mean, oh, guys, he's really close to level 10. He's really close to level 10. Happy tracking and then lose for spamming Mustafa to forfeit. Hey, Sauron, it's nice to see you in the chat. Maybe we can also get after this one Sauron against Mr. Smog, guys. What do you think about that? I think this could be even a crazier chat in global. I would love to see that. Smoky against Sauron, a rematch after a really long time. You know what I'm saying? For the number one spot two in the challenge. Would be awesome. I don't know if Sauron is up to and also if uh, Smoky is around, but it would be nice to see. So Army of the Dead is almost back up. Cloud Break is available. Rohan Summon is going to be available soon. And with that all together, maybe he has a chance to come against the Fortress. So he has a Lone Tower. Gandalf is recovering really close to level 10. 7-8-1. Uh, 7853007743. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome. Tracky versus Sauron. <laughs> okay. Level almost 10. So Isengard is kind of is still trying, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to do the same thing, but don't really try to rely on heroes instead. You see, heroes are a great investment in long terms. You know what I'm saying? They don't pay off immediately, instantly, but the longer you are kind of patient with them, the more micro you have. And in this case, in the you know, in the specific case in which in which we see like Bombo Combo potential with Horn of Gondor and Cloud Break, the synergy you know with the Zaplas of Gandalf is pretty powerful. The build has been taken down. Isengard is ignoring the fact that there is an army night right next to him. Um we will have Watcher Summon to deal with the Rohirrim. Gandalf is gonna get just in safety. Cloud Break is gonna be used to stun, and there comes Gandalf! Boom! And hey, 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 hey! Hold your breath! Hold your ground! Hold your ground! Boom! Sauron 
on your face. And ladies and gentlemen, it officially happened in the Champions League in the new patch. The first time we see Gandalf with level 10 Vault of Power. Let's go. Gandalf now is getting crippled. Lords is angry. He's like, I will kill you, wizard. The Easter light doesn't hurt him, but he hurts Gandalf. Not anymore because Aragorn is here. Don't worry, wizard. I got your back. And Gandalf is safe for now heal is gonna be used <laughs> in trucky is like blindly i mean not blindly but tunnel vision focus on gandalf but gandalf doesn't care aragorn is also almost level 10 by the way smoky with the raid thanks for the raid smoky and welcome everybody to the stream gandalf what gandalf dies to random white man of the I mean, he didn't die all game. He didn't die to summon dragon. He didn't die to lords multiple times. He didn't die of white man extra verse with a huge buff. But then he dies to a white man of Dunley and summon of the spellbook. Come on, wizard. I was expecting more from you. But maybe it's a int strategy because, you know, Mustafa was the one who was finding the suicide strategy in Rise of the Witch King with Arvin. Because the Arvin's flood had such a long cooldown that reviving Arvin was much shorter. Maybe that's the case to get Gandalf with the War of Power on the field a bit sooner. Maybe it's, a, it's all part of a plan, you know, who knows? If a Tom Bombadil summon, everybody is fighting until the very end. Nobody is calling it, guys. And this is not a lame game or something. Lame game includes lots of towers. Here are no towers. I don't see anything. The only towers I see from Man of the West are actually lone towers, which are summoned from the Spear Book of Man of the West. What is lame about that? It's a power point from men. Is he not supposed to use it? We have Rohan summon available, Hobbit summon available, Army of the Dead summon available. I mean, there is nothing lame happening in my opinion. Like Mustafa didn't build a single tower himself in this game. Not a single tower. We bring swords from Lorien. We bring swords from Lorien. What? Did you guys hear it? I was... Ah, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, am I watching Elven gameplay? It's like those Galadriel warriors, sorry. Okay, Ranger Summon. Army of the Dead Summon. Now the big commitment. Now the big commitment. It's like the final push of the good side in the Black Gate. You know what I'm saying? They are waiting for Frodo to drop the one ring in the Mount Doom. BG Lima, I don't play again. And Traki is out. And Mustafa wins the best of 7-4-2. And not only winning the game, but breaking the will of Traki to play ever against Mustafa again.